Hello and welcome to another Match Day vlog. Today it is Crystal Palace. I'm back here today. They are facing Man City. Now the last time I was here, it was uh, Crystal Palace and Chelsea. Ended up 7-0. Crystal Palace actually performed very, very well the last game against my beloved Liverpool. Liverpool didn't show up really at all that day. Uh, we're back here in Selhurst today for Man City. Uh, Viv Miedema is out basically for another couple of weeks, hopefully, maybe months. Had another operation on her knee. Man City, I think this could be a little bit of a drumming. I'm hoping it won't be. I'd like to see a competitive match, but I mean, come on. You got Bunny Shaw up there, you got Lauren Hemp, you've got Chloe Kelly. There was the international break, but these ladies are on form. And you know what? They're just such a joy to watch. They really, really are. So join me. I'm really looking forward to it today. And let's see what happens.
There we go, the match finishes 3-0 to Man City. I have to say, um, Lauren Hemp was absolutely amazing. She only lasted 60 minutes, they took her off. Maybe international break took a little bit out of her. Maybe they're trying to save her. She was absolutely fantastic in that game for Man City. And when she left the park, then uh, Bunny Shaw kind of took over um, and was awarded with the goal. Finished handy enough, easy enough win in the end for Man City. Um, Crystal Palace did really well again, keeping them goalless until about 38, 39 minutes, but unfortunately let the one in just before half time. And that really made a difference then. It just seemed that they could have even gone in 2 0 down before half time. But Crystal Palace are a lot, lot better than they were when I saw them against Chelsea. Uh, they seem to have grown a lot, they seem to have figured out not to rush forward passes as much and uh, they seem a little bit more coherent I mean it's a really really tough ask and a really really massive step from the championship to the WSL and any team that can do it successfully and not go down is doing really really well they had a long team talk at the end of the game there um, Man City were off heading into the stands with their fans and Crystal Palace were still on the pitch in their little huddle trying to get their heads together. Where does that leave Crystal Palace? Well, I still fear for them, but it could be them, still between them and West Ham as to who is going back down to the championship. Um, Man City and Chelsea. Chelsea still look that, sh that little bit sharper. Um, when I saw Man City last season against Chelsea, they just ran them ragged. They were absolutely amazing in, uh, what you call it, that little hellhole place that they call Meadow Park. Um, to, to, they were just amazing that night. And it was a bunny show goal, if I remember correctly, last January. Um, they didn't seem as sharp as that today, but the thing is as well, you didn't have to be. They didn't have to be. They still came out 3-0 winners. Next up for me, well, I guess it's next Sunday. We're back in Hayes Lane in Bromley where London City take on Birmingham. That is at top of the table. Well, I have to double check, but currently at top of the table, clash to see who will go top. It'll mean a huge, huge amount to London City if they can go top. But here's the thing. I'm not sure if they should go top. 
I'm not sure if they should aim for promotion for next year. Yes, I have now said it on camera. Um, I love the team to bits, but I'm not sure should, they should. Join me next week. Like and subscribe if you like these kind of things. Um, I've been ill over the past month or so, so there's been a little bit of a stumble on the videos. I'm still going to get them edited and up, but hopefully we'll get back into a right proper running order now. Um, thanks for joining me. 